Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Dynamic Engineers. So today we are going to talk about another concept that is I have written it the total depth and effective depth. These are actually the T beams both of this, this one and this one. This is an important question the effective depth and the total depth which is most probably considered during design process and it is most frequently asked questions during civil engineering jobs interviews. So you do need to know about this. Okay. Total depth is actually the depth of the hanging part of any beam plus the depth of slab. Okay. Like if you look at this, I have drawn it. This is a T beam. T beam means when slab and the hanging part of this beam acts monolithically. Okay. So here you can see that both these the hanging part of the beam and the thickness of slab are working as a single part okay and these are considered as a single part so here you can see the total depth is the this hanging part okay i will call it h okay so total depth here this d is equal to h plus thickness of slab I will call it TS okay this is the total thickness of this beam this is a simple concept but the effective depth this is one of the most critical thing that is considered during designing and this is the most frequently asked question during jobs interviews that what is effective depth of beam okay I have drawn here a very simple beam this can be a double layered beam like here in tension zone you will see two layers of tension reinforcement but here I have drawn just one layer okay here in this case what is the effective depth okay so the effective depth is actually the depth of this total beam okay the depth of the to total beam means the thickness of the slab plus this hanging part minus concrete cover minus half of the diameter of this bar okay here how do we define effective depth the effective depth is defined as the distance from the outermost compression fibers okay just look at this the outermost compression fibers are the extreme compression fibers here the extreme compression fibers are these okay these are the extreme compression fibers so the distance between the extreme compression fibers and the center of the tensile reinforcement is known as effective depth okay so how will we calculate this effective depth okay so the formula for effective depth is total depth okay i will call this from top to bottom i will call this total depth t d okay this will be equal to this effective depth will be equal to de is equal to total depth total depth from here to here minus concrete cover here if you look at this this is the total depth from here to here okay so effective depth is equal to total depth minus concrete cover and we know what is concrete cover minus half of the diameter of this bar okay so this means that to calculate effective depth we will be needing the clear cover half of the diameter of this bar and this total depth okay as i defined it it is the distance between the extreme compression fibers and the center of the main tensile reinforcement so how will we calculate the center of this okay if you this is so if this is main reinforcement we will divide it by 2 and this is how we will get at center point so we will calculate it by this formula 